that first thing. Then you got a second part of the attack that is figuring out what is the attack. And if the attack is getting control of a camera, well, now I got to figure out from that layer, I'm already in the network, how to get to that computer and how to turn it on. So, and it's more layers depending on what type of attack it was. If it was just that, well, would you just stop it there? But if it is maybe getting control of an application, uh, a database, uh, well, then you will have to now start from there to try to figure out a way of hacking that database and keep going and so on, so on, so on. So layers could add up or could be lower depending on what level of attack are you trying to achieve. So at the end of all the explanation and all that and and really explaining him the details because he, he wouldn't buy it just by saying it. You know, we, we gave we gave him an idea. He did he did he did accept it, it is doable, it's possible. But after that, you know, I told him and 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 everybody agreed with it. It was that, you know, that movie that movie is realistic. And it is dangerous also. Because the truth of the matter is that when you get a group of people, people by meaning people, could be hackers, could be ITS, could be IT guys with no bad intentions whatsoever or good intentions whatsoever, just IT guys. You get a group of people. Remember what I told you when we started. Not one person knows everything. But in a group of persons, a lot of people could get the idea of how to developing these attacks and making them happen. For example, uh, once, we, once we, we got within the conversation of that, we said, we brought this up and we said, you know what? I believe that movie is so real that we are right here right now, us, us, we are not movie guys, us. I bet you that if we say we want to do a certain attack, let's say we just bring it out of the whims and say, you know, what if we wanted to do this? X, Y, Z, whatever. This attack. Could we achieve it? And we said, well, I don't know. Let's see. Let's, let, let's, let's do an example. So we gave an example. We put it out there. We said, okay, let's say, well, obviously, this was a talk thing. This was an example. It's not that we actually did it. Uh, said, okay, what if, you know, like always, one of the guys said, what if I wanted to get a remote control of a camera? I like that part of a webcam in a certain place, blah, blah. So he said, well, that's simple. Uh, first thing we got to figure out is the IP of that person. Well, some people gave some example of how to doing that. Some people gave some example of how to do it in another way. You know, it's a lot of different ways. First thing we first want to do is figure out that person's IP. And how can we do that? Establish any messenger communication, any type of communication with that person as a friendly communication. And once you do that, you already have the IP. Once you get the IP, then from there we start working. Once you get that, well, then we said, okay, let's say we got we got the point of getting the IP and we find the, the way of bridging that. Remember, for that, we got to go to part of how to bridging that. And we already did that. So now we're in the computer and the guy said, okay, but wait. If we want to get in the computer, we will need to create a user. You can't get remote control of a computer without a user. So we said, okay, that's doable. We will use net use. We'll use some tools that are out there that creates users within the computer. And he said, yeah, but <laughs> sounds too nice. But to do that, you need to get con access to the computer. How, how, how are you going to create the user without having a user? Simple. What we did was... You're going to get a remote control. You're going to get access to the computer. You're going to get access to the registry of the computer. You're going to create these instructions you're going to put in the registry when the computer boots and he gets in with his administrator user, regular person, he's going to automatically create you an account by not knowing. It's just going to happen. It's going to be an a register entry. It's going to be creating that account. When that account is done, now you have an account. Now, remember, the attacks have to be planned. Attacks is not something that you're going to be able to do it like in movies sometimes it is doable like in an hour and you already have everything done. Some attacks takes time. They take, you know, patience. You got to do this today. Maybe tomorrow you do that. Maybe then and to the end you get the whole attack done. So now he created the user by logging in the computer automatically. Now all we got to do is wait 
for him to not be connected. We connect remotely using the remote terminal services of Microsoft. We get connected. And now all you got to do is turn on the camera. You see in the camera. So, and that was a simple way of saying it. Once we, we went through all these different ways, you know, he's saying this, fixing it like this. No, we should do it like that. Once we got all that, and I'm telling you, this was like a little community thing. You know, once you do this, da, da, da. At the end, we have more than three or four type of way of doing it. And it, this was in less than 20 minutes, 10 minutes, or something like that. So imagine yourself if you get a group of people plotting to do an attack with time in their hands. They could do a major one. So what I'm trying to say is this. When you get people out there, they're organized and, and they know a little bit about computers and they are working to attack you, you want to have people on your side trying to find a way to defend you. And that's what, what, what ITS does. So we get out there, we analyze the things that are happening and find ways of protecting those, the ones to be protected. You know, you don't get a criminal to guard your house. You get a cop to guard your house. So uh, that's most likely what we do. So that's, that's, that's most likely about attacks. We should just leave it like about there is what an attack is. An attack is an organized way, a planned way of how to getting your plan your attack on the go and achieving the mission which is that's what we have to develop remember an attack is not in just attack by saying an attack it has to be an attack and it has to be a reason for the attack what is the purpose of the attack you have to have a purpose 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 you need a purpose you don't attack just for the pure fun of attacking you don't get into somebody's camera just for the pure pun fun of getting into the camera you don't get into a computer just to the pure pure fun of getting into the computer and nothing. I want to get in there because I want to get this information. I want to get in there because I want to damage this. I want to get into that network because I want to get control. You have to have a purpose. Purpose and an attack. And the attack will be the, the means and the end will be the purpose. So that's the way it works. So let's keep going with, uh, with, the, other, with the other parts of all this. Okay. Okay. Now let's see another topic. Let's talk about the different type of networks that are out there. Remember, there are a lot of different type of networks. It's not like we haven't talked about it so far. It's that it's different. It's different medias, ways of communicating these networks. Remember, a network is a community of computers connected one to the other. And how do we get them connected is what makes them a network. It could be either wireless, it could either be by Bluetooth, it could either be by wired. So. When we mean wired, we don't want to restrict it just to wire. It could be wire, fiber optics, any different type of medias, as long as they have a media physical that connects them. So let's begin by wired. We already started talking about it, so let's start with wired. Okay, the wired media. So this is the way we're going to do it. We're going to start talking about, about different ways of hacking, uh, some example of how to do it and why do we have to protect us from those type of people remember all we're trying to achieve here is try to make people aware and companies of how to secure the infrastructure so that their data is protected data meaning information information meaning you put it in danger in that person and you put it in danger in your own company so okay simple let's begin with uh, with uh, let's begin with a uh, network type of wiring infrastructure well you got a company let's give some examples you got a company is connected by wired and you want to hack within a company that it is connected by wires how hard can that be it's interesting you know some people will say it's a little bit harder than one the, the what it thinks it is it is pretty simple uh, some people even have some myths out there like I'm gonna tell you later on like like the fiber optics myth. Uh, you can't hack a network that is made on fiber optics. Sure you can't? I'm going to give you some examples and simple ones. Let's begin by wire. Okay, let's say you want to hack into a network that is done by wires. And remember, I don't want to say things that are not out there. People already know this. You know, they just don't act on it, but they know it. One example. You want to hack into a company that has a wire. It's simple. All you got to do is, let's say somebody tells you, you know, uh, I want to connect this building with that building. You know, 
they tell you, okay, I want to connect this building with that building, and you're 